I'm a 32-year-old man now, but this event scared me for life. When I was 14, me and my mom went on a holiday to see some of our family in Canada, and we were very excited. Our family was quite distant at the time, as my father had left us for a model in France and we'd moved to England for a fresh start. Well, anyway, we got there and I was reminded just how beautiful it is where my grandma and grandfather live. By the way, this was around winter time, so it was quite cold. We were enjoying our roast until I heard an echoing scream outside the cabin. Me being the person I am, I just laughed and shrugged it off. I was actually petrified of whatever thing would make a noise like that at night. So my grandfather said to me, Let's go get some layers on and go check what it is. Being very large for my age, around 6 feet 1 and about 95 kilograms, or around 200 pounds or so, I was a very scary looking person to stand up to or try to fight. So I had to say yes. We got our coats and my grandfather brought his gun just for safety. We headed out around 50 meters from the cabin when we saw what it was. It was a moose. It had been crushed by a rock and was making the same scream as before, so we had to put it out of its misery. We needed to call someone to help us get rid of the corpse, but we were too tired and it had started to snow. But something was off. There was nowhere for a rock that size to have come from. We headed back to the cabin. I was just laughing to myself, thinking that my anxious feeling tonight was because I was just being childish. But then, all that changed later that night. About 20 minutes later, we heard the same scream. We all jumped, and I looked outside. The body wasn't there anymore, and I shat a brick. I was confused as to how a giant moose corpse pinned to the ground with a rock that weighed probably twice as much as me could have just disappeared. Then I saw something I still have nightmares about. It could have been a coincidence, but a man with a Glock G45 was staring at us, and he aimed right at me. Then he shouted, Anyone fucking move? This big fuck dies! What he didn't know was that I also carried a penknife on me because of an incident I had when I was younger. While he was paying attention to the rest of my family, I jabbed it right into his hand that was holding the gun. He dropped it and I ran right at him, tackling him to the ground, so my family had time to call the police. We traded punch for punch and because I couldn't hold him down, he kept trying to reach his gun after every one of his punches. But the scariest thing I remember was that he was just smiling. I ended up trying to stomp on his hand so he would forget about the gun. Then bang! I'd been shot, straight in and out of my shoulder. Luckily, I had adrenaline rushing through my body and stomped on his hand, breaking it in multiple different places. Then I stomped on his ribs and started kicking his head until he was knocked out. The police ended up coming around 10 minutes later, and I was rushed to the hospital with a few missing teeth and a broken jaw. The maniac had several injuries. Three broken ribs, all five fingers crushed, a broken jaw, a broken nose, and a concussion. It turned out that this man had broken out of prison a few weeks prior. I don't ever sleep at night anymore. Now I'm known as an owl, and I sleep throughout the day. I think to myself now that if I didn't have that penknife from my father, I would be dead, and my mom, grandma, and grandfather would be as well. Just know that every person around you has your trust and respect, and you have theirs because not everybody in this world is a nice person.